All right, Tom asks a very important question. Now there's three ways to organize your business. Now everybody check this out. You could be a sole proprietorship, no LLC. You're just a DBA. That stands for doing business as. You reserve your little name, you take your social security number, and you go down to the bank and get a bank account. Boom, you're in business. That's option one. Option two, you would set up a C-Corp. That's all you could do 100 years ago, 80 years ago. You'd set up a C-Corp. Now you get protection, but let's say you bring in the same money. You bring in 100 grand in your sole prop or in your C-Corp. You spend 25 grand on expenses and you net 75. You spend 25 grand on expenses. Now think of expenses as like auto, marketing, travel, dining, home office, electronics, computers, same thing, same expenses. You don't get any extra expenses in a C-Corp. Don't let anybody sell you otherwise. So you net 75. Well, here's the problem. In a sole proprietor, you pay self-employment tax of 15.3. In a C-Corp, you pay corporate tax of 21%. So both of these suck. So your only other options were 50 years ago, came into play the S-Corp. The S-Corp said, hey, I get the same protection. Now this was before LLCs even existed. So don't go anywhere. So here's my S-Corp. If I bring in a hundred grand, I spend the same 25 on expenses and I net 75, no self-employment tax, no corporate tax, and no Obamacare. That's pretty awesome. But here's the catch. You have to take a salary. So what we do is we take this 75 grand that you're going to make and on paper, you don't have to wait around for a paycheck, but we claim maybe half of this or a good chunk of it as dividend kind of pass through. So this is dividend or K1 pass through income, which is no self-employment tax, no corporate tax. But up here, you have to take a W-2 for a reasonable amount. Now, in most equations, we're doing a 30 to 40% allocation. And I go to all the reasonable comp seminars around the country. I teach classes this to other CPAs. I interview IRS agents. I am licensed to, to, um, to represent clients before the U.S. tax court. We make sure no client gets penalized for taking too low of a salary. But I have a matrix that helps you choose. So you might take a 25 grand salary and take 50 grand as pass through. This just saved me 15% on 50 grand. That's $7,500. Now, why did I bring all this up? People, you need to know as a small business owner, the difference between a sole prop, a C corp and an S corp. Most of my businesses in the long run, I don't want to be a sole prop. I don't want to be a C corp. So, we lean towards this S corporation. And that's what Tom is asking. He's saying, Mark, in a given year, should I set up my S corp halfway through the year? Or should I just stay a sole proprietor through the rest of the year? Well, here's the S corp insurance that I want to give you right here is what you can do is set up an LLC that doesn't save taxes. LLCs don't save taxes, but I can convert it to an S corp retroactively any time during the year. So if you're a brand new small business owner in 2021, what I'd recommend, if you think you might make 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 grand or more, start out as an LLC, which is the same thing as a sole proprietor and just see how the year goes. If you end up making a lot of money later on in the year, you can call me up and go, Mark, Mark, I made 40, 50 grand. That's when I think it makes a lot of sense to switch to an S corp and I can backdate an S election. We charge 150 bucks, super cheap to go back and be an S corp. So here's what I recommend for a lot of clients. This is the trifecta that I've been teaching for years. You start out as a sole proprietorship with your little side hustle. So here's your side hustle. You start out as a sole proprietor or an LLC and then you convert to an S corp when the time is right. On this side, this is your investment side. This is where we put your IRA, 401k, and 
we put your LLC for your rentals. So your LLC is owned by your trust and your LLC here is owned by your trust or your S Corp. Down here is your 1040 and a river runs through it. Brad Pitt, you know what I'm saying? So here we take your passive income and over here we have your earned income. This is what I do for every dentist, plumber, electrician, contractor, realtor, broker, attorney, CPA, online marketer, fix and flipper. We all become S corps in the long run. And then we use LLCs for our rentals and it comes down owned by our trust, married or single. This trifecta is what 90% of our clients are coming to us for to help get organized. This is what I want you to know when you go to meet with your professional. Now, can you do your own tax return as a sole proprietor with your side hustle? Yes, that's what I'm talking about. It's a schedule C. We can help you do that. But then you're gonna graduate as your business grows over to the S Corp. And Tom asked, when should I switch? When you know you're gonna make at least 40 grand net, when you're gonna net at least 40 grand, so maybe you grow 60, right off 20, but you know you're gonna net 40, I want you to be an S Corp. So Tom, start out as an LLC, and then let's see how the year goes. When you start making money, call your mom and call me. Woo! You know what I'm saying? All right.